Audit Supervisor Llewellyn Terlahi says the long-awaited audit of the QC program was quite insightful. A lot came out from this report that uh, basically uh, um, leads us to conclude that there's a lot of improvements um, manage, um, that need to be um, taken by GITA and DRT to improve the QC program. Some of the major findings included that despite being in effect for nearly 50 years, the OPA could not determine the positive or negative financial impact of the program. This as a result of both GITA and Revan Tax's unverifiable and incomplete database. GITA Administrator Henry Tyson doesn't necessarily dispute this claim, saying ever since the Commerce Division was removed from GITA, the agency lacked capacity on economic impact assessments and analysis. What she refers to is actually a database that our, uh, the management and staff that were here uh, to actually took uh, the initiative in trying to develop. Obviously, we didn't have any economists at the time, so it was uh, the best effort of the management and staff to actually try and um, develop something. The audit further reviewed that QCs awarded to the insurance industry are more generous and awarded regardless of the economic impact to the government of Guam. Just based on the law, the, the types of uh, benefits, um, a lot of the other industries get like could get up to 75 percent, um, but for the insurance industry, you could just see by the benefits we listed, a lot of them are 100 percent. Gita management state that the law simply does not provide flexibility, as it specifically states a rebate of 100 percent. For instance, Gita calculated one QC to provide $6.4 million in taxes over a 20-year period. However, the forgone tax revenues to Gov Guam over the same period amount to a little over $100 million, an economic loss of $95.2 million. The audit shows Gita management had opposed the amendment to include domestic insurance beneficiaries. We went to the legislature, legislature before it was included in the law and we told them that this would be problematic and it was included anyway and on top of that they added a provision which made for an automatic renewal which created further problems. Governor Eddie Calvo's director of communications Troy Torres says the audit reaffirms what the governor has believed all along. The governor came out months ago he agreed he agreed that the insurance companies should pay their fair share of taxes and um, you're not going to get a dispute from us. In fact, Torres says Governor Calvo pushed for legislation introduced earlier this year that would have assessed a fee on premiums for health insurance companies. And what you see in the audit today is an affirmation of that, is, is the auditor is saying that the QC for insurance companies is generous. And we agree. The OPA has recommended that GIDA and Revan Tax collaborate, compile, analyze, and post data on the QC program they also recommend Governor Calvo, the legislature, and the directors of Gita and Revan Tax revisit the QC law for elimination of the application of QCs to the domestic insurance industry. Gita management, meanwhile, say both the findings and recommendations are in line with what the agency has known for some time and have even raised most recently in an oversight with lawmakers back in May. These are issues that have been around. Uh, most of these uh, domestic insurance QCs were done in the, in the 90s, the late 90s. And, um, you know, we've been aware of them and we've actually been working uh, recently uh, with our oversight chair as well as uh, other senators in his committee on um, reforms to the QC law. Titano says he believes the QC program is beneficial and is Guam's only investment tool. What we want to do is, is just, uh, you know, take all the factors into consideration and all the comments that we've been receiving, especially the criticisms on the, on the program, um, and work with the legislature to improve uh, the legislation and the program, but in addition, also make the best assessment we can. And while Gita has six months to come up with an action plan in response to the audit, management note that Oversight Chair Senator Dennis Rodriguez Jr. is working on an omnibus bill that would revamp the QC program along with including provisions that would instead allow more flexibility and stop the automatic renewal of the QC. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.